So May is National Beef Month, and when I think of beef in May, I think of grilling and steaks and all of my favorite things. But today, we're not gonna talk about the ribeye or the T-bone or even the filet. We're gonna talk about the skirt steak. And the skirt steak is a great cut of beef. It's used in fajitas. You probably eat it a lot, but you might not purchase it to fix at home. A little bit about where this cut comes from. It comes from the diaphragm of the animal between the, the sixth and twelfth rib. And so so it's usually a more narrow piece of beef. It also is usually thinner. A lot of people think that flank steak and skirt steak are interchangeable in the same cut. Although we can utilize it in a lot of the similar recipes, they're actually not the same cut. The flank actually comes from this part of the animal where this skirt steak actually comes more from the rib plate area. Now, the skirt steak is not known for its tenderness. However, it is known for its flavor because you can take a look at this cut of meat. We see all that detailed marbling throughout this cut of beef. And so that's gonna give us a lot of beefy flavor, a lot of marbling, but this cut really needs to be marinated and usually overnight at least six hours for it to infuse all the flavors into the meat and to tenderize it a little bit. And we're gonna talk a little bit about cutting against the grain. And so when you take a look, you can see just like grains of wood, you see the grains of beef kind of running this away in this cut of meat. And so when we take it off the grill and we're letting it rest, sometimes those grain marks aren't as prominent, but we can see them now. And so we're gonna cut against the grain diagonally this way. And that's gonna give us a great eating experience. And like I say, fajitas, but a lot of times when you go into the grocery store, this might not be packaged with your other steaks. A lot of times it might come in a vacuum pack and this vacuum pack helps it stay fresh longer. And so if you're looking for a skirt steak and you don't find it in the normal steak area, you wanna make sure that you look for this vacuum package and that skirt steak will usually be folded in there and then you can purchase it. So let's talk about the marinade, okay? We're gonna make a really easy marinade today, probably things that you might have at home but we're gonna start with lime because lime is gonna be our acid. It's gonna be our tenderizer in this particular marinade. And before you juice your lime, you wanna kinda of give it a roll and really get all the juices that you can out of your particular lime. Now with this particular recipe, it is a skirt steak with a creamy avocado lime dressing. And so we're gonna have lime infused in all. It's gonna be a really nice, fresh flavor, a nice, good, healthy garden salad for you that's gonna have a lot of protein. One serving of this packs 24 grams of protein and not a ton of calories, about 310 calories. And so we can feel good about eating this salad. We're gonna get our beef in, we're gonna be able to fire up our grill, and it's also gonna be delicious. And so we're gonna juice our lime here and then we have a tablespoon of minced garlic. Garlic is an umami flavor with beef. It's one of those flavors that pairs beautifully with it. And so anytime we can add garlic to a marinade, it's just gonna really help enhance the flavor of the beef. And then we also have a tablespoon of chili powder and that's gonna give it a little bit of heat, a little bit of spice, but it's gonna be really nice. Now we usually put salt on the meat, but we're not going to because that sometimes brings out the juices. And so we're gonna wait until we have the steak grilled and then that's when we're gonna add our salt. So to this marinade, we're gonna add about a fourth a cup and we're just gonna kinda eyeball that. A fourth a cup of lime juice. And then we're just gonna stir this up and it, people say that's not a lot of marinade and it's not. And really we don't need a whole lot. Lime juice is acidic and we have about a pound, it's about a pound and a third of beef here. This is gonna be plenty. We're gonna coat that meat, we're gonna put it in a plastic bag, and we're gonna marinate it for at least six hours, but I usually try to marinate it overnight. Just go ahead and stick it in your refrigerator and forget about it. Until the next day when we come out and we see that it's all coated, this is gonna be tender when we get it on the, on the grill. And right now we're using an indoor grill because we didn't think it was a good idea to fire up the grill in the extension office. You can use an indoor grill, but what we would suggest is not to close the grill because this will provide heat on two sides and that's not what we want. We want this to be like a flame outside. So we're gonna place our steak on the grill and we have it about medium heat and so you heard the sizzle 
One of my favorite sounds is the sizzle of beef going on there. We're gonna leave that on and let it grill just on one side. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna go ahead and start making our dressing that's gonna go on top of this. Because we don't wanna really play with the steak. We wanna let it sear and then we're gonna flip it once. We're gonna take its temperature and 145 is where we wanna be with this steak. That's medium rare. We don't wanna overcook a skirt steak. It will not be a pleasant eating experience. And so here we have the lime juice that we have and the avocado. The avocado is actually a berry. A lot of times we think of it as a vegetable, but it's actually a berry. And we're gonna take this avocado and put it into our blender. And it's gonna give it, this is gonna add the nice creamy flavor and it's gonna be, it's gonna add some nutrition to our dressing as well. And so we're just gonna add that in there. Take the pit out, one of the things that classifies it as a berry. And so, and I'm kind of chunking up the avocado just a little bit so it'll blend a little bit easier when we get it started in here. And then we're gonna add some more garlic because like I say, that's a perfect pairing flavor with our beef. And we're gonna add about enough for one clove, which is half a, a teaspoon of the minced garlic. I also have three fourths cup of water that we're gonna add to the dressing. We're gonna add our lime juice. And if you get a little pulp in there, that's completely fine because it's just gonna blend into this beautifully. And then we're gonna add a little salt because we do wanna add a little salt. That flavor is gonna bring out the beef flavor and all those things are gonna meld together. We're gonna to put our top on and blend that up a little bit until it's smooth. And then we'll be ready to place it on the salad. Now for the salad, we have just mixed greens, some red onion, about a half a cup. We have some tomatoes on there, the different colored tomatoes to kind of give it that nice punch, the freshness of summer, as well as green olives that are, are stuffed with the pimentos. That also adds a nice flavor. It's a real bold flavor that adds to this salad and cheese. Now the recipe didn't call for cheese, but I love cheese and blue cheese in a beef pairing is great. So I'm gonna blend up. Okay, we have this all nice and blended. If you wanted to add some cilantro to give it a little bit fresher punch to this dressing, that's gonna add flavor without adding a lot of calories. So you can certainly do that. So we're gonna just leave the dressing, set it aside. You kinda heard the sizzle die down with the beef a little bit over here. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna flip it. Now we have tongs that we use for our raw meat and we're gonna use that when we flip our beef. And then after that, we're gonna get us a different set of tongs because food safety is super important and we don't wanna cross contaminate. So we're just gonna leave that on the grill. We're gonna take it, take its temperature, 145, and then we're gonna place it and let it rest. Anytime you cook a protein, you need to let it rest after you get it off its heat source. And the reason is, is it has a chance to distribute all its juices back into the entire cut of protein. And then that's gonna give you that nice juicy flavor with every bite, even on the ends. And so you wanna make sure to do that. Remember to slice it diagonally against the grain. And then once you have that done, place it on top of your salad and pour your dressing on top and you're gonna have a great eating experience. Let's take a look and see what temperature it is now. Because this little piece, this little cut of meat here, it probably doesn't need a whole lot more to it. Okay, and we are inching up. And if you're cooking this over medium coals, usually about four minutes per side will be enough. This actually needs a little bit more time, so we're just gonna leave it because we don't wanna rush it. We don't wanna rush our meat. So we're gonna leave it there, let it grill, and let it reach 145. And so you put this all together, you have a great eating experience. This recipe is beefitswhatsfordinner.com. You can go on there, look. They have an interactive meat case where you can go and explore all the different cuts of beef and pick the perfect recipe for your family. So make sure to celebrate this month, May is National Beef Month, and eat beef. 
Okay, so our meat has reached 145. We have let it rest for about 10 minutes, so now it's time to slice. You want to make sure you have a sharp knife, and you can see the grain of the meat is going this way. So we want to cut against the grain and add a diagonal. And so we just take it and slice it in thin pieces so that they're perfect for our steak. But you see that, that we still have a pink middle, nice juicy flavor, and I had to taste a little piece myself. And so the lime tastes great. It's got a lot of flavor with that garlic. And so we're just gonna cut a few slices, and we already have some of our salad plated up over here. And so you just place the beef on top of the salad, however much you like, but usually a serving of beef is about three ounces. And so, not a lot, but remember, there's a lot of zinc, iron, and protein that's packed into this beef. And then we take our avocado lime dressing and just kind of pour that over the top and enjoy. We're gonna make sure to get some of Brittany's great flavored drinks and we're gonna have a nice summer meal right here.